Okay, and so now we have this envelope wave function, which is given by this uh, cosine term, okay, uh, which multiplies the um, the uh, wave that corresponds to the um, uh, the the average uh, wavelength uh, of the two waves that we that we use to add and uh, and make the superposition wave, okay, and so uh, this this harmonic wave basically modulate which is a slower slower frequency, longer wavelength uh, modulates the um, the other one, okay, and so the wave packet is basically that we're talking about is just the spatial extent of the wave packet is just the the um, the distance if we basically freeze time so time equals constant it's the distance between when the two waves uh, add up and get uh, constructive interference to when they uh, get to when you have destructive interference and they and they um, they oppose each other and this distance delta x is related um, to uh, happens uh, when uh, uh, delta k over 2 times delta x, okay, so delta k over 2 is, is actually the, the wave number of this wave, okay, we were saying delta k, but this is, this is just a number now, okay, so it's the wave number of this modulation waveform uh, times delta x, this, this distance here, when that is equal to pi over 2, okay, so um, one quarter of a wave, then you get um, this uh, you get this condition where you go from constructive to destructive interference, okay, and um, and so we see that we recover we recover here the um, uh, the uncertainty relation, and we should also notice that the um, that this modulation, okay, um, propagates at a uh, at a speed that's equal to just the phase velocity of the modulated waveform. So the modulated waveform, remember, the phase velocity of a wave is just equal to um, omega over k for that wave. In this case, omega, okay, is equal, the number omega is equal to delta omega over 2, okay, again, this is just a number, and the number k, the wave number for this modulated waveform, um, is uh, delta k over 2, so you divide the two and you get delta delta omega over delta k. And interestingly, right, this is this is basically what we wrote for the group velocity, right? Remember we wrote for the group velocity um, d omega over dk. Okay? And this is what we're now seeing graphically is that is that the group velocity, which again is the velocity of the modulated waveform, the modulation, okay, the the envelope, the dotted wave which I've drawn here. Um, the velocity of that is the group velocity, and we see that by calculating the phase velocity of that wave, we get the group velocity of the um, of the, um, the entire uh, wave packet. Okay, and so um, this um, gives us an initial look at uh, at uh, wave packets and um, the uncertainty relations. In, in, in an upcoming lecture, we'll um, uh, generalize this um, to the sum of more than two waves, and then we will um, see how we can arrive at the um, Heisenberg uncertainty relationships uh, from doing that.